Southland Drive is a well-known part of Lexington. One of the city's earliest shopping centers was located there. But the street has also garnered a reputation within the local music community. Deemed Lexington's Music Row by a former mayor, Southland is home to a number of music shops and even a summer concert series known as Tall Sound, an anagram for Southland. Let's check it out and learn what makes this community so special. Southland Drive is a historic area in Lexington in that back in the 60s and 70s, it was the end of town. After it, it was all fields. And and by the time the 90s developed and they built the mall and Nicholasville and Fayette County grew closer, Southland still kind of stayed the same. There were at one time five or six music stores in the area. In 2010, Mayor Newberry dubbed Southland Lexington's Music Row. The Southland Jam Jamboree held um, its concerts on Tuesday evenings over in the Collins Bowling Alley. And they were part of the inspiration to showcase Southland the music of Lexington to Lexington's Music Corridor. Tall Sound Summer Concert Series was born from Tall Sound Music Festival, which was a dream of a group of friends that really honestly, just as a labor of love, wanted to bring music back to Southland Drive. Southland Jamboree was an established organization and showed, the, showed us that they can, th this neighborhood really does love live music. And unfortunately, due to some renovations at the bowling alley, uh, they, they had to move off of Southland Drive. And it had been a dream of ours for so long, but that was kind of the impetus for us to go ahead and say, you know what, the neighborhood wants it, we can do it. We are a community focused um, concert series focusing on bringing people together and uh, elevating the people that are here, recognizing them and celebrating uh, all these different types of music. We don't focus on one type, one genre. Um, we have certain themes, you know, where we might bring um, like things together in a different way, in a new setting. Um, but that is our goal as an organization. The history of South End Drive is what drew us to it. Even before Tall Sound was an event, uh, most of us met here, uh, whether it was friends' homes or jobs that we had here on Southland Drive. Uh, it was something that drew us here. And I will say specifically that there is a creativity, there's, there's an unusualness about it beyond just the, uh, the music shops and the cool shops and the, the wares that are here. It's the community that surrounds it. It's a lot of the neighborhood people gathering for the music, and it's just, it's fun. I mean, you know, music is happy and up, great, and it's very important for the community to have something like this. The diversity of music that we feature this, this season and the last several seasons have been, tried to be geared around since we've moved on to the concert series, each night spoke, focusing on a little bit different kind of feel, whether it's bluegrass, Americana, there's a huge pools to draw from in here in town. We've also tried to feature Latina night, and we've also had reggae fest. That, that is part of showcasing the talent that is in Central Kentucky and in Lexington. It's not just country western, it's not just blues and rock. There's so much music that we want to offer. The educational aspect of Tall Sound honestly stemmed from one of our original programmers being involved in childcare. It's something that made perfect sense as far as wanting to have, you know, we, we looked at the demographic of the neighborhood and saw who would be coming and realized that there would be kids here. So we should give them something to do. Uh, it's been a great honor to participate with a lot of organizations, uh, Central Kentucky Youth Orchestra, Lexington Music Education, Candy Mountain Music, and on and on and on to provide kids who are going to be the next generation of musicians that will hopefully be playing Tall Sound, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now with the opportunity to expose them to music. I think it's important to raise up the next generation of artists through shows and through performances like this because um, everyone was a local artist at some point, no matter where they're from. And so often, you know, we're fed, we're fed things on sort of the macro level, but it starts here, it starts in your backyard. Uh, you can find some wonderful music and you'll find out that you actually have, you know, common friends with people that are making music and making art in your community. And so I think it's very important. And it also, especially for kids 
you know, these days that might not get exposed to uh, a variety of art and uh, experiences like this, I think it's very important um, to give them all of the chances available to, to see how large the world is, you know, both creatively and artistically. And, and so I'm glad to be a part of that. I've been so impressed to see the growth of our event. I played the very first set, my band did, the very first set of the very first Tall Sound to, I don't know, 12 people? <laughs> and then this year we're seeing things like in May, we saw 500 and something people, which was the first time that we had broken 500. And in July, we broke 1,000. We have seen just this continued growth, which means that the community really wants to see an event like this and that maybe we're on the right track and we just hope to see it continue to grow in the future. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Polston, your host for Kentucky Life. Now, let's say you like that story and you want to explore more of Kentucky, all you got to do is click that subscribe button for more great content.